You're just in time. Something interesting is taking shape. Come on. Oh, come on, Orbit. Let us see. Yeah, what are you making? Ta-da! It's for the Intergalactic Art Show. What do you think? Wow! A cat! Cool. I really like it. Me too. I wish I had one just like it. Really? Well, I can make you one. For real? Just like it? Sure. But how are you going to do that, Orbit? You're all out of parts. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we could find a hardware store. They'd have parts. Or better yet, why don't we go someplace where we can make a copy of Orbit Sculpture? Yes! Yeah! Great idea! And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to find a place where we can copy Orbit Sculpture. All right, let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The snowy planet? But every snowflake is unique. We won't find copies of anything there. The puzzle planet? Jigsaw pieces are all different. No copies there either. <laughs> the copycat planet, a place with all kinds of copies. Perfect. The copycat planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. the on button. Whoa! It's a copy machine, all right. It made an exact copy of Orbit. But which one's the real Orbit? I am. Excuse me? You're the copy. I'm the real deal. Oh, you're real, all right. Real confused. I'm the real deal. No, you're a copycat. Stop pretending to be me in front of Rob, Emma, and TK. I'm not a copycat. I'm Orbit. And who are Rob, Emma, and TK? Aha! Uh -huh. He's the copy. Because he doesn't know who we are. Ha-ha! <laughs> Told you. I'm the real deal. Guys, we came here to copy Orbit's sculpture, not Orbit. Exactly! We need to fix this! Fix this? What do you mean? Being Orbit is awesome! No way! I'm a one-of-a-kind robot! There can't be two Orbits! Nuh-uh! I'm a one-of-a-kind robot! Don't be jealous! I know you are, but what am I? I know you are, but what am I? Uh, bet you can't do everything! 
thing I do. Wow, he's good. Was always makes me feel better. What am I going to do now? I'm supposed to be an exact copy. I'm sure if we work together, we can figure out how to make you orange again. You do that for me? <laughs> I bet. Sure would. Yes, if I have to have a copy, I'd rather you be a happy copy than a sad one. So let's find a way to change you back. <laughs> Copy machine! It'll be great to be an exact copy again. Just like these flowers. Huh? Ah! They smell nice. Hey, how come you're not sneezing? What's sneezing? Huh? Ah! Ah! Hacha! <laughs> that is... Flowers always make me sneeze. Really? Weird. They don't do that to me. Ah! Please! <laughs> don't worry, they're gone. Huh? How come you weren't startled? I don't know, they're just bees. Nothing to be afraid of. Really? They freak me out. Hmm, you know... I'm starting to think maybe you and I aren't exactly alike. Hey, Orbits, come quick. We figured out the copy machine. <laughs> there, we're all set. Right, TK? Looking good, Rob. All systems set to... Orange, hop on in. I think... I think I changed my mind. Huh? What's the matter, Orbit 2? Well... I know I'm supposed to be orange because I'm a copy, but I think I like being blue. I like being different. Is that okay? Is that okay? Is that okay? Yes! Of course that's okay! <laughs> Do you know what this means? It means I'll be a one-of-a-kind robot! Yes! And I'll be a one-of-a-kind orbit again! changed your mind. I realized it wasn't so bad being different. In fact, it makes me feel kind of special. You are special. And you know, you'd be even more special if you had a unique name. Yeah. How about Tibro? Tibro? That's Orbit. Spelled backwards. <laughs> oh, that's great. Hey, do you want to come back with us, Tibro? There's room on our rocket. Thanks. But I'm going to stay with the copy machine. Since we're both unique to this planet, we should stick together. Okay, we'll come back and visit you sometime. Goodbye, Bye, See you soon! Oh, wait! Emma, I still need to make you a copy of my cat sculpture. It is a good sculpture, Orbit. But why don't you make me something different instead? You know, something unique. Yeah, like Tibro and me. Hmm, I've got some clay on the rocket. Maybe I'll make a dog sculpture. Great idea, Orbit. And I think this is one unique <laughs> mission <laughs> accomplished. Yeah! Mission Control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? 
<laughs> we went to the copycat planet so Orbit could make a copy of a sculpture for Emma. But instead of making a copy of the sculpture, we accidentally copied Orbit. Orbit likes being a one-of-a-kind robot. So when his copy turned blue, Orbit was really happy. But then his copy became really sad until he realized it's okay to be different. Being different and unique means being special. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, copycat planet! Hi, everyone! Come on in! Oh! <laughs> Just keep your head up! <laughs> so, is soccer your favorite sport, Emma? Yes! I love it! See this? called dribbling. Wow, Emma, you're great at dribbling. I don't think I could do that with my treads. It looks fantastic, but do you have to use your feet? I'm better at games where I use my hands. Me too. In soccer, you're supposed to use your feet. It just takes practice. Can you show us? Sure. Yay! This is how you kick it. <laughs> Hooray! I got it. Uh, I think I got it. It's coming to me. Look out! Uh oh. Sorry, Emma. Oh no! That was the only soccer ball we had. How can we play now? Maybe we can go somewhere where we can get a new one. And play soccer outside where there's more room. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Ball and need to find a new one. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The bowling planet. Maybe we could kick bowling balls around. Bowling balls are way too hard, Orbit. We'd hurt our feet. <laughs> oh, how about the farm planet? There would be lots of fields to play on there. Hmm. But we need a soccer ball first. We'd just be playing with chickens on that planet. Now that looks like a planet where we could get a new soccer ball. <laughs> yes, that's the ball planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. <laughs> Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
two. One thousand and three. Hey, Orbit. Are you ready to play soccer? Sure, just as soon as I miss. One thousand and six. One thousand and seven. Um, one thousand. Okay. One thousand and nine. One thousand. But I thought. Oh. I've got a soccer. I'll be right with you after I hit this bucket of balls, okay? Uh. Yes! He's got the range. He's wishing he could play soccer instead? Um, gee, Emma, I'd love to play soccer, but basketball is fun, too. Can't we play that? Well, I thought we came here to get a new soccer ball and to play soccer. Is everything okay, Emma? Um... Sure, it's fine. I, uh, I just really hope we could all play soccer together. Emma's right. We did say we'd play soccer when we got here. So, you want to play? Yeah! Yeah! Awesome! This is going to be tons of fun! Okay, let's try this again. Ready, TK? Are the nets supposed to be this big? Okay, Orbit. Now we pass it back and forth and try to get by Rob. Huh? Right, let's do it! person's game and see which one we all like the best. Go shoot hoops. I'll be practicing ping pong if anyone needs me. I've got a giant bucket of tennis balls to hit. See you. Oh, that's no fun playing by myself. I miss my friends. Oops! Look out, TK! to play a game together that everyone's good at. Let's play Super Fun Robo Ball! Shots ever! 
And there's been a lot of them. We've been playing for five hours. I love this game. Me too. And better yet, we all got to play together. I'd say that's a big mission accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? can I help you today? We've been working hard all day, and we want to have some fun. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Should we go to the bedtime planet to have fun? <sighs> no, that's a better place for a nap, not to have fun. Is the vacuum planet a good place to have fun? I think we've had enough vacuum cleaners for today. Do you think we can have fun on the playground planet? You've got it. The playground planet is the perfect place to have fun. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
planet. have a turn being the leader. Okay, I was thinking we could try... A merry-go-round! Hop on, everyone! Quick, follow me! I'm the leader! Uh, guys, I thought... Hurry up, Orbit. You don't want to miss the fun. Just don't go too fast, because I get sick when I get too dizzy, and... Oh! <laughs> Bit. You don't have fingers, remember? Oh, right. Okay, so Rob, I was thinking that. Great idea, Orbit! It's Rob's turn! Rob's the leader! Let's go! Follow me! to me, I might as well be floating alone in outer space. Uh-oh, I didn't mean it. One, two, one, one, two. Uh, guys. Wait your turn, Orbit. Okay, then. Huh? Do you have anything that can help us get Orbit down? Um... My trampoline! That should do it! Yeah! Uh... Uh... Okay! Jump, Orbit! But what if I miss? I've already hurt my head, my bum, and my tummy today! It's easy! Just land on the trampoline! Whoa! Whoa! Hey! This is kind of fun! 
my turn as leader? Huh? We didn't give you a turn? Oh. We're so sorry, Orbit. Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, our mission was to have fun. So we went to the playground planet. We slid down the big slide, and then we played follow the leader. But we were having so much fun, we got carried away and stopped listening to our friend. We forgot to give Orbit his turn. That wasn't nice of us. And because we weren't paying attention to Orbit, he almost floated off into outer space. Until TK found a trampoline. And then everyone bounced with me on the trampoline. It was the best. Well, that sounds like it ended on a high note. You should always be considerate of your friends. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Playground Planet! going to have a party to celebrate the anniversary of our first mission. I've got the cake. Yay! Check. <laughs> Emma has the milk. Yay! Check. <laughs> and Robin Orbit have the balloons. Huh? Uh, what balloons? Uh, didn't I ask you to get balloons for the party? No, you didn't, TK. Sorry. Oh, no. I must have forgotten. We can't have a party without balloons. Maybe there's still time for us to get some. Somewhere. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find balloons for our party. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. What about the art planet? That's a good place to decorate balloons, but I don't think we'll find any there. The onion planet? Hmm. I think that choice is a bit of a stinker. P.U. Now that looks like a planet where we can get some party balloons. Yes, that's the party planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
stop the party planet. I think we came to the right place. This is Party Central. Okay, let's round up some balloons. <laughs> the balloonyest party ever. <laughs> I hope there'll still be room in the ship for us. Hey, where's Rob? I'm coming. Whoa! Oh, oops, I almost stepped on this little green balloon. Hey, this isn't a balloon, it's an egg. What's an egg doing just lying on the ground? Shouldn't it be up in a nest somewhere? Maybe it's afraid of heights. Birds' nests are usually up high. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I see the answer. A nest way up there. How did an egg from way up there get way down here? Beats me, Emma. But I think we have a new mission to get this egg back way up there. We should get something to carry it in. Like a basket. Come on, everyone, help me look. <laughs> huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> this is the only thing we could find. It's so big. Where's Rob? Up here. He's floating away. We have to go after him. But how? Uh... Ooh! With that! We can tie that big balloon to this party guy. And float up after him. Great idea, Orbit! Well, let's get tying. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, little birdie. Huh? Hey! These balloons are going to help me get you back up to your nest. Whoa! Ooh. I sure hope I don't run out of balloons before we get to the top. Tummy trunk that can help. Huh? No thanks, TK. We're not hot. I know, Orbit. But we can use the fan like an airplane propeller. Now that's what I call a fantastic idea. <laughs> We're stuck. I can't use my hands and my feet. That's it, my rocket boots. They won't fly us to the top, but they'll get us unstuck. Hang on, little birdie. <laughs> I just hope you're not scrambled when we get you back to your nest. We're almost there. Just a bit. Huh? Uh-oh. Sounds like we sprung a leak. Ah! We're going down. The only way to make us go up is to lighten our load. We have to throw everything overboard. Why everything? We're the only things in here. Not quite. Hold this, Emma. Actually, I've been thinking about losing a little
remember, we have to pick all those things up before we leave. <laughs> We made it! Looks like you don't need saving after all. Is the egg okay? I think so, but it was a rough ride. Tell me about it. Now you're back home, little birdie. Safe and... Huh? Hey, what are those little red eggs doing in the nest? I think maybe they belong here. And the green one doesn't. Mm-hmm. You mean it's some other kind of bird? <gasps> it's not a bird egg. It looks like we have a new mission. To get this baby lizard back down where we found him. You can ride down in our balloon. No, thanks. I'm walking down. I've had enough balloon rides for one day. Us too. Okay, don't forget. We have to collect all the balloons and bits, so no animals try to eat them by accident. Good thinking, TK. <laughs> okay, TK, we picked up all the balloons. And all the stuff we dropped out of our basket on our way. Great job, everyone. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, we went to the party planet so we could get balloons for our party. We found an egg so it was our job to return it to a nest we saw way up on a tower of presents. But when we got it to the nest, it turned out we were wrong. It didn't belong there. We learned that not all eggs are bird eggs. Other animals like lizards are born from eggs too. And TK helped us learn that it's important to make sure broken balloons go in the trash so that birds and animals don't try to eat them and choke. Those are excellent lessons to learn. Well done, everyone. Time to go. Get ready for countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, party. You're just in time. I was showing my special one-of-a-kind space ball to the others. I rule a pretty good game of space ball too, you know. <laughs> so do I. It would be great to see which one of us is the best. Oh, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find a place where we can see which one of us rolls the best game of space ball. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. <laughs> the Halloween planet. That would be okay if we wanted to roll pumpkins, but not space balls. <gasps> the bouncy ball planet. But we don't want to bounce balls. We want to roll them. Mm -mm. Now that looks like just the place. Yes, the space ball planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Next up, the Spaceball Planet. Trying to make trouble. You should go play in the ballroom with the little kids. Well, I say we can roll more than you. Wanna bet? Sure. <gasps> what are you getting us into, Orbit? How is he gonna beat us? He may have a big mouth, but that robot doesn't have any arms. <laughs> Orbit's right. We can't lose. Okay. The team that rolls the most strikes wins. But if you don't beat me, you have to give me that spiffy looking space ball. Okay, it's a deal. <laughs> deal! <laughs> <laughs> we can still do this, right, team? Right! Right! I've never played space ball before. Huh? Don't worry. It's all about throwing angles in ball speed and spin factors. I'm really good at math. I'm sure I can figure it out. I'm calling a practice round. <laughs> Not that I need it, but just to show you what you're up against. Ah! <laughs> practice all you want. It's not gonna make a difference. Don't listen to him. Give it a try. Wait a minute. You'll never knock the pins down that way. Try it like this. <sighs> but that looks like an excellent throwing angle, Emma. Thanks. This is gonna be easier than I thought. I still need to figure out the ball speed and the spin factor. Okay, TK, maybe try it this way. <laughs> okay, here goes with Emma's throwing angle and your ball speed. Whoa, 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 whoa! Not so fancy, TK. Nice and easy, like this. Strike! Now I see how the spin factor makes it all work. It's game time. Say goodbye to your special ball. We can do this, right, team? Right. Right. <laughs> throwing angle, orbit's ball speed, and Rob's spin factor. Just remember what we showed you. I can't do it your way. 
I have to try him my way. Go for it, TK. We're cheering for you. Right, gang? Right! <laughs> Just try to ignore the honky. stuck together, we didn't lose. Whatever. Say goodbye to your special ball, buddy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no! Sorry I said what I did and tried to cheat. You're all good space ballers. Especially you, little Red. You earned this. <gasps> My very own space ball. Thanks. But <laughs> I'd say it's mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to this baseball planet to see who was the best player. Only we met a bull butt who bet we couldn't beat him. TK had never played before, so we tried to show her. Even though she wasn't doing very well, she believed she could do it. And thanks to her, we had learned that we should always trust others to do their best. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Spaceball Planet. Adventures of Robomax. Mm, he's awesome. He's got super speed and everything, and hey, look, a falling star. Quick, make a wish. Oh, I missed it. Missed what orbit? A falling star. I didn't know stars could fall. <laughs> they can't, Emma. A falling star is a meteoroid, a ball of frozen rock that shoots through space. Mm hmm. Some people think if you see one and make a wish, the wish will come true. Really? I want to see one so I can make a wish. Me too. Imagine if there was a place where wishes came true. Hey, maybe there is one out there somewhere in the robot galaxy. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. Oh! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet.
control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to find a place where wishes will come true. All right, let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Yay! The Sandwich Planet. A great place to make a peanut butter and salami sandwich. Ew! <laughs> but not so good for making a wish. The Paint Planet. That won't help us make a wish. Ooh, now that looks like a place where we can make wishes. Yes, the Wish Planet, where everyone gets one wish. Terrific choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. To the well. Then you make your wish. Hmm. But we don't have any coins, TK. Let's see what I have. Okay, that's one, two, three, and four. Just enough for one wish each. Thanks, TK. Great! Yeah, thanks! Remember, really think about what you want to wish for so you don't waste your wish. I wish I had super speed like me, Hero Robomax! Huh? Awesome! Wow! It works! Look at me! I have super speed like Robobox! Oh. Rock and Robot! Look at him go! So all we have to do is throw our coin into the wishing well, say our wish, and it comes true? Yes! Okay, okay. My turn to make a wish. I Whoa! wish, I wish I was the best dancer in the whole galaxy. Look at me! I'm the best dancer in the galaxy. You sure are, Emma. Okay, your turn, GK. What are you gonna wish for? Look at. like a statue. Oh, and I wasted my wish. I can't move. Looks like I'll have to use my wish to wish him back to normal. Emma, this is no time for dancing. Orbit's in trouble. So am I. Huh? huh? I can't stop dancing. I want to, but I can't. And I'm so tired. Help me stop. 
Looks like we have a new mission, TK, to help Orbit and Emma. Careful, Rob. If you use your wish to make Emma stop, she might end up frozen like Orbit. My nose is itchy. Then what are we gonna do? Orbit first. You scratch his nose. I've got an idea. Thank you. Aha! A little robot oil should loosen him up. out bad. Your wish might make things even worse. But I have to try. There's no other way. Only I have two friends to help and just one wish. So which one do you help? Emma? Please! I have to! Stop! I'm so tired! Or Orbit! I think I played. I don't know. I can't decide. Orbit or Emma? Emma or Orbit? One wish. Only one wish. Uh. 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 Oh! I got it. I know what to wish for. I think. You're not sure if it'll work? No, but there's only one way to find out. I wish. I wish. We never made any wishes! Ugh. It worked! Hooray! I thought I'd never be able to move again. Whee! Oh, and I thought I'd never stop moving. Good going, Rob. You did it! I guess I did. Now, I really wish for... Yeah, don't! Just kidding. We all only had one wish anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, Rob. But it is... Mission accomplished! <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the wish planet so we could each make a wish. But our wishes only caused trouble. First, Orbit couldn't stop. And then he couldn't go. And Emma couldn't stop dancing. Then I wish we'd never had any wishes. And everything went back to normal. I think we all learned that we need to be careful what we wish for and to be happy with what we have. Wonderful lessons to remember, Rob. Well done. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, are coming up, and we're all getting ready. I'm getting ready for the 100-meter sprint. <laughs> the Space Olympics are going to be great, aren't they, Orbit? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I can't wait. Gee, Orbit, you don't sound very excited. What is there to be excited about? I'm not going to the Space Olympics. Huh? You're not going? Why not? It's so much fun. 
Maybe if you're fast like TK or can do the long jump like Emma or can do the high jump like you, but I can't do any of those things. I'm just going to stand the rocket and play with my new toy. Oh, a toy. What is it? A camera. Orbit, you can't give up on the Space Olympics so easily. You need to try new things and see what you're good at. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We need to find something for Orbit to do at the Space Olympics. That's a great idea. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Spring Planet! That looks like fun! It does, but I don't think they use springs in the Space Olympics. Halo Planet! It's so soft and bouncy. Perfect for falling down. Sports Planet! That's perfect! Yes, the Sports Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt! about sports. It's not about winning. It's about doing your best. And having fun. It's hard to have fun when you know you're gonna lose. <clears throat> you just need to find out what you're good at, Orbit. Come on, let's go. It's the long jump. Orbit, you'll love this. Let's give it a try. You go first. Um, how about if Rob goes first? <laughs> TK. Yay, TK! Great jump! Woohoo! Wow! That's amazing! Your turn, Orbit! Come on, you can do it! Sport. There are still lots left to try. Yay. <laughs> High jumping. Wow! 
Yeah! Raise the bar, please. Ooh! <gasps> Amazing! Whoa! Your turn, Orbit. <sighs> Lower the bar, please. Sports. I should give up. Don't be silly. It just takes practice. Practicing hurts. Everyone's good at something. How about racing? Oh no! We're missing a finish line. What can we do? I must have something we can use. Let's see. A string? Mm, that won't work. It's too hard to see. Mm. Wood? No, that's too hard. Hold on. How about this? That's perfect, TK. <laughs> <laughs> We're all set. Ready, Orbit? I think I hurt myself on the high jump. I can't move in a straight line anymore. Oh no, your treads are bent. I could fix them, but only back at the rocket. But you should be racing too. It's okay, I'll try racing some other day. You guys have fun. than I thought it would be. It was fun. Who won? I couldn't tell. I know who won. I do. I took a picture of the finish line. Look. It was TK. Yay for TK. And yay for Orbit. What a great picture. Great job, Orbit. Now we know what you can do. You can be the Space Olympics photographer. That's just as important as being an athlete. You can do your best at what you like to do and have fun, too. You're right. I can. I can't wait for the Space Olympics. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... Planet to help Orbit find something he could do at the Space Olympics. First, we tried the long jump. It was fun, but not right for Orbit. Then we tried the high jump. It still wasn't quite right for Orbit. Then we had a race. Wow, you even look fast, TK. Orbit didn't run the race, but he found out what he's really good at, taking pictures. Those are amazing pictures, Orbit. Great job. What a great day. Lots of fun. And even better, each of you found out that you're good at something. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! And breathe! And... Oh, 
<laughs> oh, hi, everyone. You're just in time. I'm pretending to be da -da -da, Heracles, the ancient Greek hero. I'm stronger than a giant bull and faster than a horse. Oops. Aww. Oh, just when I was finally winning. Sorry, I didn't mean to knock over your game. I was pretending to be Heracles. Who? Heracles. He was strong and brave and fast. And that made him a hero? He chased monsters. That seems pretty heroic. Hey, I'm really fast. Maybe I could be a hero. You mean a heroine. Yes, Emma the Mighty. Oh, me too. I'm not very fast, but I'm strong. See? Uh, maybe I need a little practice. Maybe there's some place where we can all train to become stronger and faster. Like what's his name? Heracles? Yeah, him. That would be awesome. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can train to be heroes like Heracles. That sounds like one heroic mission. Okay, let's see where you can go. The cake planet? <laughs> that won't do. We don't want to train for a cake eating contest. <laughs> a pet planet? That might work. If we were training pets. <laughs> the stadium planet! That's perfect! It looks just like the kind built in ancient Greece! Yes, the stadium planet! An excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt! Monster 
training. This must be a kind of obstacle course where we'll face monsters, just like Heracles did. for heroes like us. And heroines. And heroines to prove how brave we are. Think of this as a test. Uh, I hate tests. I'm terrible at tests. Maybe I'll just wait in the rocket. Don't worry, Orbit. I'm Robocles, hero among friends, remember? Stick with me and you'll be fine. Aha! Run! Huh? This, Rob? Yes, Robocles, you're my hero. Thank you, thank you. The great Robocles at your service. Lead us to the next challenge, oh great Robocles. Look, it's a chariot race. Of course, heroes and heroines need to practice traveling with great speed. Oh, wow! Those are the coolest hover chariots ever! Oh, this one is the perfect chariot for a hero like me! I'm pretty sure they're all the same, Rob. Don't you mean Robocles? Er, uh, right. Robocles. I think they look a lot like the chariots found in ancient Greece. Hmm. Aren't these chariots supposed to have horses? I bet Heracles' chariot had horses. These are robo-chariots. They move on hover power. Even Heracles couldn't catch me in one of these. <laughs> I'm gonna be super fast. Hang thinking about winning, he was helping a friend. That makes me a hero? Yes. Being a hero is more than just being strong or brave or fast. You put Emma before yourself. And that makes you a real hero. And for that, we name you Brave Orbitocles, the hero of Yay! heroes. <laughs> I'm a hero. I'm a hero. Yes. And that means this is one big heroic mission. <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, today we 
went to the stadium planet to train to be heroes and heroines. We lifted rocks and dodged monsters in order to be strong and brave, like Heracles. We even had a chariot race in order to be fast like Heracles. But when Orbit rescued Emma, we realized there's more to a hero than just being strong or brave or fast. A real hero puts others before him or herself. A very heroic mission indeed. I'd say it's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! in the water. I like him! Uh, 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 Stripey's sad. He does look sad. What's wrong, little guy? Uh, he's normally more playful. Well, let's take him out to play with us. No, he can't come out of the bowl. Fish need to stay in water. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find a way to cheer him up. Mm -hmm. Aw, thanks, everyone. You really are my best friends. Yeah, that's it. Stripey needs a friend. <gasps> Did you hear that, Stripey? Would you like someone to play with? That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We have to find a fishy friend for Stripey. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, yummy! The veggie planet. Would we find Stripey a friend on the veggie planet? No. Would we find fish on the bouncy ball planet? Nope. Not the bouncy ball planet. Would we find fish on the ocean planet? Yes, the ocean planet. Excellent choice for finding a fishy friend for Stripey. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stripey. 
I think a whale is a bit too big to fit in Stripey's bowl. We need to find someone more his size. Come on, everyone. Let's go find a fishy friend for Stripey. Whoa! fish at all. Rob, you're back. 
So, what did you learn on your mission? Stripey wasn't happy, so our mission was to find him some fishy friends. We needed to find a place where fish live, and the ocean planet was the right place. It had a lot of different strange creatures living there. Some were huge, others were very strange and a little scary. We learned that a telescope can make it easier to see things that are far away. We also learned how much fun it is to make new friends, even if they look a little bit different. Our crabby friends sure were helpful. Then we found a plant that had a pattern just like stripies. And in that plant, there were a lot of other fish, and they looked exactly like stripies. And Emma decided Stripey would be happiest if he stayed with all his new fishy friends. Well done, Rob. Mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Five, four, three, two, one. Just in time. Today is a rocket cleanup day. Come on. See, we're going through our stuff, getting rid of things that are old or broken, like these rocket boosters. Oh, yeah, three points. I've got more stuff, Rob. Junk box coming through. Oh. Oh. Mm. Orbit, I had everything neatly organized, but you bumped into me. No, you weren't watching where you were going. Whoa, easy there, cranky bots. It was just an accident, right? And no matter what happened, we can all work together to clean things up. You're right. I'm sorry, Orbit. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's tidy up this mess. Okay. Huh? Hey, TK, isn't this your favorite teddy Mr. Fuzzy was? What's he doing in the junk pile? He's looking kind of old and tired these days. I think it's time to throw him out. Aw, poor Mr. Fuzzy Wuzz. Are you sure you want to get rid of him, TK? <sighs> yes, I'm sure. Okay, then I guess we're finished tidying. Now all we need to do is find a place to dump all this stuff. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can get rid of our junk. Oh, it must be rocket cleanup day. Okay, let's see where you can go. The bowling planet? Well, that's a good place for tossing bowling balls, but not for tossing our junk. The ocean planet? You should never throw junk in the ocean. Junk Planet! <laughs> yes, the Junk Planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
planet. junk here, it's overflowing. And we're only going to add to it. It looks like this planet could use its own cleanup day. Hey, maybe we should mention it to that garbage bot. Garbage bot? Mm. I'll go get him. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Garbage Bot! Mr. Garbage Bot, I'm Rob, and I'm... Out of your robo mind! Don't you know you never make friends with a scrap metal-loving garbage bot? Uh, why not? Why not? Because he might mistake you for garbage! Hi! <gasps> oh, Orbit? Where'd he go? Here's some more boxes. Did you find the garbage bot? Yes, but he took off, and so did Orbit. Have you seen him anywhere? Yes, but he was in a real hurry. I think he was on his way to get more boxes. Oh, good. Well, I guess we should get to work. Huh? Why would someone throw away a perfectly good clock? It could be fixed, easily. See? It's running. You're right. It's really ticking along. Ooh. Hey, look. These are cosmically cool. Do you think you could fix these, too? Uh, sure. They're totally fixable. Why would someone throw them away? You know, it seems to me there's a lot of stuff on the junk planet that could be fixed. And donated. Or given to others who could use it. Right. And some things can even be recycled, like this plastic bottle. Rockin' robots! We really can make today planet cleanup day. What do you think? Yes, we can sort and rescue things that can be fixed up, reused or recycled. It'll be our new mission. Wait, I just thought of something. I shouldn't have thrown away my teddy. He can be fixed too. I'll go and get him. Mr. Fuzzy was. Oh no! Where'd he go? Don't worry, TK. We'll find him. Toys just don't disappear. Unless. Oh no! We've got to find TK's teddy before the garbage bot thinks he's junk! <gasps> Good idea, Orbit. You keep that bot busy while we find TK's teddy. Yeah! <laughs> So much junk. We sure need to cut down on what we use. Oh, is that TK's teddy? Oh, no. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> Thank goodness for rocket boots. Mm. Glass, plastic, tin. No sign of Mr. Fuzzy was. Hmm. We should set up some bins on the rocket so we can recycle there, too. Did you find him, Orbit? Who? The garbage bot? No, I think I finally lost him. Not the garbage bot, my teddy. Mr. Fuzzy was? Oh, well, he's right over there. Mr. Fuzzy was! You found him? Uh, yes. Uh, and the garbage bot. <laughs> We've got to do something. Wait! Hi, I'm Rob. Up there is my friend's teddy bear. Please don't zap him. He's not junk. He could be fixed. Actually, there's a lot of stuff around here that can be fixed up and reused or recycled. So, what do you say you put down the garbage tray? Maybe we can give you a hand and make this a happy planet cleanup day. Yeah! <gasps> <gasps> 
And even tin, they all go in the recycling bin. Yeah! Paper, plastic, and even tin, they all go in the recycling bin. Yeah! Ooh, look! I think some lucky robot would like to have this toy. And I bet some lucky alien could use this lamp. But these, these are definitely. Intergalactic garbage, pal. So, Mr. Garbage Bot, do you think you can keep up the recycling work when we're gone? Huh? Hooray! Yay! And we can do our part too by taking some stuff back to the rocket, like Mr. Fuzzy was. He's much too cute to be junk. We sure have a lot of stuff to donate. Maybe we can make a special stop at the donation planet. Yes. And I guess this is one big and tidy mission accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, today was our rocket cleanup day. So we took some of our junk to the junk planet, including TK's teddy, Mr. Fuzzy Was. There, we found lots of things that could be fixed up and reused, like clocks and radios, and even a pogo stick. And we found materials like bottles and cans that can be recycled. We even got TK's teddy back, thanks to our new friend, Mr. Garbage Bot. But most importantly, we learned that we can all reduce what we use, reuse what we have, and recycle, even on the rock. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Junk Planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. Emma's reading us a story. She was very beautiful, and her name was Cleopatra. She was a queen in ancient Egypt thousands of years ago. Back then, they called kings and queens pharaohs. What are those triangle-shaped buildings? They're called pyramids. Inside, they had secret rooms and hidden treasure, even mummies. <laughs> mummies? <laughs> Don't worry, Orbit. They're not like mummies you see in the movies. Egyptian mummies aren't scary at all. As much as I love reading about ancient Egypt, wouldn't it be fun to explore a real pyramid and see what's inside? Oh, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. Yay! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. explore an Egyptian pyramid. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. <laughs> Arr, I love Buccaneer Planet. <laughs> Me too. But I don't think pyramids were built by pirates. Theater Planet is fun. But I don't want to pretend I'm in a pyramid. I want to check one out for real. Oh, now that looks more like it. <laughs> yes, the Pyramid Planet is a wonderful choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
built them in pairs at the entrance to the pyramids. Look, Emma, a pyramid! Oh, cool! Let's check it out! Hieroglyphics. It's how ancient Egyptians wrote stories using pictures instead of words. Cool. I'll say. I thought I knew everything about books, but now I'm learning about a whole new way to tell a story. Foot, squiggle, lady, mask. Hmm. What kind of story is that? Maybe it's an adventure story. That lady could be Queen Cleopatra. And that squiggle could be a hidden staircase that leads to the pyramid's secret room. Filled with treasure. <gasps> and maybe even a mummy. I've always wanted to see a real mummy. Hmm. I've got an idea. We can pretend to be a mummy and surprise Emma. This is so exciting. What if we find a mummy in here? Mummy in here? Remember what Rob said? Mummies aren't scary. Hey, you know what would be fun? Why don't we act out the story on the wall? I'll be Queen Cleopatra, and Orbit can be the mummy. Uh... Huh? Okay, fine. You can play the mummy, TK. No need to get upset. Um, Emma? That wasn't me. If it wasn't you, who was it? Mm -hmm. The mummy! <gasps> Don't be silly, Orbit. It's probably just the wind. <laughs> Besides, Mummies aren't scary, remember? Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah! ah! <laughs> I can't wait to see their faces when they find out it's just me. Oh, this is the best joke ever. Huh? <laughs> hey! Uh, uh, oh, no, it's stuck. I need some help, guys. Guys? Help me with this thing! Ah! 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 That was close. Look! The mummy's running straight towards... You 
pretended to be the mummy? I really got you, didn't I? <laughs> I am the mummy. <laughs> you should have seen your faces. <laughs> What's wrong? Didn't you like my joke? No, it wasn't funny. You really scared us. I did? You did. All I wanted to do was explore a real pyramid and maybe see a mummy or some treasure. Um, Emma? But we spent so much time running from you that we don't have time to explore anymore. Emma, look! Huh? be funny to pretend to be a mummy, but I guess I took it too far. I'm sorry. It's okay. No problem. Yeah, what they said. After all, we never would have found this room if it weren't for you, and I never would have seen a real mummy. I'd say this is another mission accomplished. Yay! Yay! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Pyramid Planet is a really cool place ruled by kings and queens called pharaohs. We learned about the amazing things Egyptians built, like obelisks and pyramids, and a cool way of writing instead of words using pictures called hieroglyphics. I thought it would be fun to pretend to be a mummy, but I ended up really scaring everyone, which isn't fun at all. That's a lesson worth learning. Now, time to go. Get ready for countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. It's not really a place to have a race. 
Hmm. Race flags and a race track. That's exactly what we need. Yes, the race planet. Perfect choice. But remember, racing isn't all about winning. You have to have fun and play fair. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Rocket Riders, choose your racer. There are so many to choose from. TK, which one should we choose? Wow, look at that one. Ready? Buckle your seatbelts. I checked them all, and I'm sure this is the fastest. that can help. Oh, my toy plane. Not really what we need right now, though. Oh, that's a nice hat, but I don't think it's what we need. A coin. This might work. Awesome. Orbit. We have tons of power to finish the race. Besides, we can't stop now. We're winning! <laughs> Left, right, or straight? Which way do we go? Buckle up again! You can't go off the track. That's cheating. No, it isn't. Besides, Rob's not playing fair either. Just because he's not playing fair doesn't mean we have to cheat too. We have a better racer. We can win. But this is faster. The arrow pointing left looks like it goes to the mountains. The arrow pointing straight looks like it's going towards the water. Is that where we need to go? Checkered flags are reached at the end of a race. That's it! The end of the race! We follow the sign that points to the right. Seatbelts on. Here we go! This is great! We'll win for sure! Hey, Kate, what's wrong? Huh? What happened to Orbit? Huh? 
orbit behind? a long way back to the rocket. I'll race you. <laughs> <laughs> Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we wanted to have a practice race to see who is the best racer. We decided Race Planet would be the perfect place. We also learned that if you break the rules, it can be dangerous. But the most important thing was that you shouldn't forget about your friends. And losing to your friend is still a bit like winning, because you can be happy they did well too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. <laughs> <laughs> 